Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 4 is to power 6 to the left hand side. Then what we have becomes k minus 3, 4 is to power 6, minus 4 is to power 6, then equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we can write this as k minus 3, 4 is to power 3, then 4 is to power 2. As 2 times 3 here gives us 6, then minus. Also, here we have 4 raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2 equals to 0 from here. The next step here, this follows from the difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, this same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. At this here, a is standing as k minus 3. 4 raised to power 3 and b standing as 4 raised to power 3. That is, what we have here follow this and becomes k minus 3, 4 raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then also open brackets k minus 3, 4 raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 plus brackets which is equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we have two possible cases. That is k minus 3, or raised to power 3, plus 4 raised to power 3, equals to 0. Or we have k minus 3, or raised to power 3, minus 4 raised to power 3, equals to 0 here. That is, so from the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square. That is here, yeah, we can follow this. We take k minus 3 as a, then 4 as b, and we have becomes k minus 3 plus 4. Into brackets and also open bracket k minus 3 or square minus 4 times k minus 3 then plus 4 square plus bracket which is equal to 0 here. Then next step here this bracket remain k plus 1 into brackets and open bracket expansion here becomes k square minus 6k plus 9. Then minus 4 open this bracket become minus 4k plus 12 then plus 4 squared that's 16 close bracket which is equal to 0 here that is this is the same thing as k plus 1 into brackets then open bracket here becomes k square minus 6k minus 4k give us minus 10k then we have 12 plus 16 that's 28 and 28 plus 9 give us plus 37 close bracket equals to 0 here. And here we have two possible cases as well. The first one k plus 1 equals to 0. Or we have the second one k square minus 10k plus 37 equals to 0. That is. Solving on this side, we have k equals to minus 1, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 37. Then applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over. 2a, what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 37 all over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus, so we have 10 here. Then plus or minus square root of 
minus 10 squared, that's 100, then minus 4 times 1 times 37. We have minus 148, then all over 2 here. And next step, we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 148 gives us minus 48, then over 2. That is what we have here becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of minus 48 can be written as 16 times 3 times minus 1, then over 2. That is here. Yeah. Can bring out root 16 as 4. And what we have becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus 4. Then we have root 3. Root minus 1 is i. Then over 2. That is here. Yeah, 2 is common. I will factor it out. We have x now equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus 2 root 3 high here. Then over 2. That is here. Yeah, 2 cancel each other. All we have left becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus 2 root 3i. So here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a minus b into brackets and open brackets a square plus a b plus b squared that is yeah this follows all we have and becomes k minus 3 then minus 4 into brackets then open brackets k minus 3 all square plus 4 times k minus 3 plus brackets then plus 4 square plus brackets equals to 0 here which implies this bracket becomes k minus 7 into brackets, then open bracket. Expansion here gives us k squared minus 6k plus 9. Then 4 open this bracket, we have plus 4k, then minus 12 plus 4 square, which is 16, close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here yeah, we have k minus 7 into brackets. The open bracket here we have k square the minus is k plus 4k give us minus 2k and minus 12 plus 16 that's 4 then 9 plus 4 we have plus 13 plus brackets equals to 0 here also here we have two possible cases that is k minus 7 equals to 0 or we have k square minus 2k plus 13 equals to 0 here. That is, solving from here, we have k equals to 7, which is a real solution here. And also from this side, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to 13. Applying the quadratic formula, is we have k equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 13 then over 2 times 1 that is yeah we have k equals to minus times minus is plus so we have 2 here then plus or minus square root of minus 2 square that's 4 then minus 4 times 1 times 13 give us 52 then over 2 here then what we have becomes k equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 52 we have minus 48 then over 2 that is the same thing as k equals to 2 plus or minus Minus 48 can be written as 16 times 3, times minus 1, then over 2. And we bring out with 16, that's 4. But this k now equals to 2 plus or minus 4. Then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. 
Uh, this yeah two is common and we have k now equals to two into brackets here we have one plus or minus two root three high left here then over two that these two cancel each other then here k is now equals to one plus or minus two root three high also here we have two complex solution therefore all together here we have six solutions in this given problem. Two re solutions here, yeah? two complex solutions here, yeah? and two complex solutions here. Yeah? And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.